So let's take a look, a closer look at the Revo foiling surf ski. So the first thing that jumps out to me is the ski's short. It's got that classic reverse nerve of the Revo and it looks like it's been chopped off just behind the cockpit. So making a much, much, much shorter ski. And looking at Neil's body posture, he seems to be throwing his shoulders back to try and change the aspect of the foil and get it up and flying. It's actually remarkable how little body movement he's doing to uh, get it up and going. So uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty optimistic for getting into the ocean because I was uh, very concerned about how much body movement might be needed. Uh, I guess that might be a function of how long the foil is. I think it's almost 800, meters, uh, 800 millimeters long, which means um, there's a long lever action there. So if the, if the foil gets shortened, perhaps uh, you'll need more body movement, I don't know. It's also pretty windy. Anyone who's tried foiling will know that wind is your nemesis when you're learning. So uh, Neil's doing pretty well here for someone who's never foiled before. Experienced uh, paddler that knows nothing about foiling. But he's looking remarkably stable. I think that bracing is not for balance. I think that bracing is to counteract the pull of the tow rope on the surf ski and just keep the uh, surf ski tracking straight because the, the rudder's coming out of the water. It's interesting they, they have no rudder control once the boat's flying. And talking to Revo, it's all about body weight. So I think it's early days to, to test that theory, but uh, this is very, very optimistic. It's also interesting to see that Neil is keeping the boat very, very close to the water. It looks like it's touching down, but really all the weight of both Neil and the boat is sitting right on top of that foil. The boat's really just getting wet. There's no buoyancy really required from, from that um, surf ski. So that means it's going to get up and go. It's not going to take a lot of energy to get this boat moving. Uh, I'm also going to be interested to see how he can move his weight forward to drop into a run on a choppy ocean. Um, I think he's sitting on a sliding seat which will enable that, but how much stability will be lost or gained with that sliding seat, I guess time will tell, but looking at Neil's smiling face, he's looking pretty comfortable there. So uh, it's looking pretty stable. Speed wise, I'm guessing 10, 11, maybe 12 k's an hour roughly is how fast that boat's pulling. Certainly the boat's not, not planing, you can tell that by the wake. Um, uh, I think that's a paddleable speed. Maybe you could paddle this thing onto a foil, but uh, Greg tells me that's not the idea. Um, but uh, you, I think this has got huge potential. Um, uh, we can see things get a little more unstable as forces come in behind the boat. There's the height of the mast. And uh, looking okay, looking okay, and we're off. So it certainly seems like uh, if, this, if it gets too high, it's probably just nervy to be up there, and, and maybe it's messing with Neil's head. But uh, that was very interesting to see. Um, I can't wait to see where this is going to go.